fuck now. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is New World 007. Bringing to you a new kind of reviews, interviews. Today, I'm starting with my first person who I need had the time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you, Brooks 1011 What's up, everybody? Say hello to the people. What's up? <laughs> I just said, oh, it's bad time. Anyway, yeah, I came <laughs> to be interviewed. That's right. I don't know what the hell was he thinking, but I thank him nonetheless. So, so, Brooks, let's start with some questions. Yes. One kind of more fan, as a fan boy. Why in the hell do you love Shion and Yuna so much? Shion and Yuna? Because they're crazy. Yes. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, they're smart, they're beautiful, they're sexy. Yet they're crazy. But you know it's a special kind of crazy. The type of crazy that we said Teddy Bremo for what? No, the kind of crazy you'd call for a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think restraining orders came out for crazy bitches like them. Mm, no. Sean's still not happy all the meat having Cotonoy killing her. <laughs> but we're sort of okay. Oh, but, and, and, but how how's your how's your prison on that note? How's my what again? Your prison. My prison. I just keep you locked up. Oh, that that's all already right. been done and that's already done and gone. I'd rather not get into that. That gives me some bad dreams. <laughs> Another question. What made you, what inspired you to do your your video game stuff? You know, uh, the more kind of I'm again in the Johnson leash. Well, a while back, when I first got on Mortal Kombat Armageddon, a lot of the, I told people that I created Xeon, and now that I got this new laptop with the webcam, I thought, what the hell, I'll show. The Jaws one was kind right. of a freak occurrence. <laughs> and yes, guys, the sharks are rental. Just call him Bruce. Well, he does. <laughs> Bruce. Why Bruce? Well, don't you know every shark's called Bruce after the Jaws movies? They don't go by any other name. <laughs> Damn you, Nemo. So, you prefer, I, I tell you, you prefer a live, you, you like the live action simulator, correct? Hey, that's correct. Why? Well, anime's good stuff to do. You got, uh, like, there's a virtual landmine of anime that's out there that people haven't even done AMVs on. I mean, I love doing them, but then there's also live action, which is just, there's just as much live action out there than there is anime. That's true. I don't know. I really want I'm kind of surprised because a lot of people be kind of hard to do stuff like a lot of action stuff because of the lip thinking. Okay. It's easy to do anime because they don't actually move their lips. Well, I have problems with the live action lip syncing too, but I try to I tend to stay away from that in my videos. I mean, you don't see me doing a werewolf video with the werewolf saying in it the song. Don't take a lot of lip syncing or jaw syncing. Mm, I. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I you, you seem to do the occasional no script go all out full cast theme stuff. You saw a what an example of this. You saw Birdie the Mighty thing, Bird, didn't you? Yes. Oh. Well, you see, every once in a while, after I do a video, I'm kind of bored and I have nothing else to do, so I do these fan-ups. Not the Shikabon Hime bridge and the Witchblade bridge that I'm working with you on. Yep. But unscripted madness. And what better way to do it than a superhero anime about a... Boy and a girl who share bodies. 
though, I have thought about the idea of actually doing a series, a bridge series, out of Birdie of the Mighty, if people are interested in it. You mean a series? Actually, in the same it, sentence? I mean, I mean, like, doing a bridge series out of it, like, the Birdie of the Mighty would be a good one to do one out of. As long as... It could as... be true. Go on. No, I was saying it could be true. Could be true. I'm just worried about some yeah. of these bridge series out there that if they get caught where the people who own the material originally find out that their series are being used for an bridge series, they're getting taken off of YouTube, so... And the only reason Shikaban he may not <sighs> come out any sooner is because my editor has his is quote unquote busy doing something else. You mean toaster? Yeah. What I mean, does he's he do? Let's see. He was supposed to do a grown log in a bridge and I do the voice of Vero. Yep, I'm viral, James viral. <laughs> and I worked out a lot with him with the um, first script. Uh, so, and I did a lot. Of, and my viral lines, once we ever get to my character, a lot of it's been all created by me. A lot of his personality into his lines. But it all depends. I think Toast has gotten a little bit too busy with other editing jobs like he accepted too many but boys gotta work shame doesn't get paid uh, true we amv makers need to make money off of these videos of course that would be yeah. illegal but <laughs> One final question. What are your plans for which way a bridge? Well, unlike Shikaban Hime goes for one side of humor where it's going to be crazy, there's going to be a lot of dead girl jokes in it, but with Witchblade, I have a whole new direction for it. Make one that's both sane and yet it has a heart to it, really. I mean, a mother-daughter uh, part in an anime yeah. about a superhero girl with armor and big boobs? What's not to love? Uh, the bittersweet ending? True, true. Well, thank you for your time, Brooks. Alright. And... Oh, and, uh, and I got to uh, do... Oh, yeah, uh... Yeah. Mm. Uh, one more thing. I kind of hope Shion be with me, and as soon as it's over, you're getting killed. You're kidding me, right? Okay, thank you for your time. David <laughs> Boy, how'd you get of this course. number? How'd you get our number? <laughs> baby, I know you. I'm sorry, baby. I have no. Oh, Demon Boy, when Henny brings me back to life, I'm gonna kill you. Mommy!